Okay, so I am going to show you how you create a clickable table of contents for your book. And I know there's different versions of Word out there. If this one doesn't happen to be the same as yours, you can always look stuff up on YouTube, Google, whatever. There's a gazillion things out there. So what we're going to do is we're going to create headings. So the headings are going to tell the document um, if it's a main chapter or a sub chapter or a sub sub chapter. So heading one, heading two, heading three are those things and they'll indent as you go. And the other thing is, you know, the reason why you want to do this is to make the reader's experience better in Kindle. Sometimes you'll get bad reviews purely for not having a good table of contents that will jump to certain places. Plus, you know, it's just easier for them to read and go to where they need to go. Um, my book happens to be laid out in days. So let's say they, for some reason, don't open the book in the same tablet or computer and for some reason they've lost their place or whatever, it's easier to click on the table of contents to get close to where they are rather than go through the positions as Kindle puts them. Okay, so what I've got here is I have a blank page right here that is going to be my table of contents. And I'm going to start here and start making headings. So I'm on the home tab and then I'm going to make that into heading one. Now, if you want to, you can also change the size of that back down. Um, each of these, heading one. another heading one and then um, after this one we're going to switch to heading twos so these are going to indent under my lesson one I'm going to have this day one under heading two. Oh, and I probably want to change that and then this is going to be a heading two Okay, and just for sake of showing you, I'm not going to do them all, but we'll get to lesson two. I want to make that a heading one again. And then I want to make this a heading two. Okay. So we are going to go back to that blank page that I was going to make into the table of contents. Whoops, right here. And I'm going to go into document elements, hit this under table of contents, and I'm going to pick whichever one I like the best. So let's try the classic one. So now you see that it's pulled in all the places that it found heading ones. So that was on page four. So like it knows that it's page four. Introduction, page five, prep, number eight. So it knows these things based on what I called them. And day one through three goes to heading number two. Okay. So if you had a heading number three, it would then indent again. So that's how you create the table of contents. Now these are not yet, <laughs> they're not yet linkable, jumpable, whatever you wanna call it. So what you have to do now is tell it to go to certain places through a hyperlink. So I'm gonna highlight this. I'm going to insert, sorry, you can't see that. Um, I'm gonna insert the hyperlink. Hold on, let me pull this down for a second. Oh, you can't see it still. Okay, so it's going to be insert, hyperlink, and then right here we're going to say document. Usually I think it's on web page or something like that, but we're going to say document, and then what we're going to do is locate. Now you see when you hit that it's got these headings, so you click on this down arrow and you see you've got all these headings that are the same as the table of contents. So. The first one is this dedication, 
right, is on page four. So I'm going to put dedication and hit OK. Whoops. Ah, stop that. So I want to just highlight introduction and in five, and I'm going to go insert hyperlink, locate, drop down, introduction, hit OK, hit OK. Um, I'll show you one of these other ones. So um, yeah, let's go with day one, insert hyperlink. And then under the heading, see how there's these other arrows? So you've got to hit those. I'm going to hit day one, and that's what we're going to do there. Insert, hyperlink, locate, headings, lesson, day two. So you kind of got the hang of it, right? So now you'll see that when I hover over these, it knows to jump you somewhere. So watch, I'll go day two and it jumps me to day two. Um, where did that go? Day two, day one. Okay, so you see how it jumps and then when you export it as a PDF, those hyperlinks are going to get saved and then it'll take them to the right place when they are on Kindle. Okay, that is it. Happy table of contents creating. Talk to you later.